Okay, so here's the question. Are white-tailed deer endangered? <laughs> I desperately wanted to answer this question. Like, have you lived in the United States at all? Have you seen the deer on golf courses on the side of highways eating your pansies out of your backyard? Okay, let me be a little bit more scientific in responding to that question. The simple answer is no, they are not endangered. White-tailed deer, maybe at one point in history, at the turn of the century in 1890, may have been considered endangered when their population fluctuated around 300,000 whitetail. Today, there is the belief that there are over 30 million white-tailed deer in the United States. Pennsylvania alone has 300,000 white-tailed deer that are taken by hunters every single year. That alone that statistic alone shows you the robustness of the white-tailed deer population in the United States today. So let me give you a little bit of history. In 1880, conservationists around the United States started voicing their concerns, sort of ringing the alarm bell for white-tailed deer. The Appalachians, most of the West, essentially had zero deer on the landscape. Rhode Island, Connecticut, Maryland, Tennessee, Iowa, Indiana, all of those states pretty much thought that they had a population near zero of white-tailed deer. The last deer in Indiana was essentially shot in Red Cloud in 1893. Southern Maine, Southern New Hampshire, zero white-tailed deer. As I said, today, fish and game agencies estimate 30 million white-tailed deer. You can pretty much find a white-tailed deer everywhere. I was just in the Frank Church wilderness way, way, way back in there, and there were white-tailed deer there. So how did the whitetail go from 300,000 to over 30 million? It's very simple. The value chain associated with the resource changed. It went from meat and hide to recreational sport hunting as the majority value of that resource. Think about it. The whitetail deer, it lives in America, lives in Finland, lives in New Zealand is the largest ungulate population hunted in the world and arguably has the largest hunter population chasing it specifically in the southeast of the United States of America. Those two facts alone make them incredibly important to GDPs of states, of counties, and specifically of very rural cities all throughout the southeast of the United States. Here's another cool fact about white-tailed deer. Valerius Geist did a bunch of research on them and found white-tailed deer that came across the ice bridge from Russia into Alaska to be about four to five million years old as a species, making them the oldest living deer species in the world. Every other species, moose, antelope, elk, are not counted in millions of years, but rather tens of thousands of years old. Lastly, the term whitetail was coined by Lewis and Clark and their expedition across the West, where in their expedition journals, you can see Clark writing that they came across lots of elk and white tail deer. He was merely using the descriptor of the tail of the deer to name the deer, and that's why today it is the white tail deer. So there's your answer.